Hello, I'm John Roberts and I'm Principal of East Doncaster Secondary College. Thanks for visiting our college website. With the severe restrictions imposed due to the COVID-19 virus, um, we had to cancel our open night and indeed our weekly school tours. I realise that this has left some in our community looking for information on our college, uh, our teaching and learning program and our enrolment process. Could I invite you to watch the remainder of this brief video just to gain an overview of our college and information and I trust that it will be of some use to you. Our student population is currently and will continue to be just over 1,600 students. We are a richly multicultural school community with more than 70% of our students from language backgrounds other than English. Within this context, we strive to improve our cultural awareness and inclusion and the opportunities that this can offer all of our citizens of the East Doncaster community. As it should be, our students are the centre of our school. We could not be more proud of our students, their learning, their growth, their sense of community, the way they demonstrate pride in their school. Our college values are care and compassion, curiosity, excellence, fairness, resilience, respect and teamwork. Our college catchphrase is creating a culture of curiosity. Our aim is to provide a first-rate education focused on the emotional, social and academic development of our students and we consider each of these dimensions vital if our young people are to leave our college as well-rounded, capable and confident young adults. Our curriculum is designed to provide a balanced, rigorous and challenging program directed to the development of a student's knowledge and skills for lifelong learning. Literacy and numeracy are the cornerstones of this curriculum. At year seven to nine, we test our students at the very start of each year to confirm their literacy and numeracy levels. The students with performance levels above or below expectations are identified so that teachers across all subjects can be conscious of the needs to cater for varying student capacity and needs. In years seven to 10, a broad curriculum is designed to build deep knowledge and delay narrowing of options for as long as possible. This structure allows our students to explore areas of interest and to make educated, informed decisions when selecting VCE subjects or alternative pathway options. As our students move from year nine to year 10, they transition to the senior school. Year 10 students who have displayed a high level of achievement up until that point will have the opportunity to include a VCE study as part of their year 10 program. And we very much encourage our students to pursue this opportunity. At a senior school level, we aim to create the widest possible post-secondary options for each student. This is achieved through a combination of providing a wide range of subject choices and by committing to an ongoing course selection and career counselling program to fully inform students of pathway options. A VCAL, Victorian Certificate of Applied Learning program, is available for our students not looking to undertake VCE studies. Our two-year VCAL program, spanning over years 11 and 12, offers students the opportunity to be involved in a school-based apprenticeship. As an example of this, we have students this year training in the fields of carpentry, childcare, hairdressing and information technology. The reality, however, is that most of our students will look to undertake VCE studies. Our Year 12 VCE outcomes have been uniformly excellent for a number of years. We therefore enter this phase of senior school education with a high degree of confidence in our program. The joint ducks of our college last year achieved an ATAR of 99.5. Two of our students received the perfect study scores of 50 in one of their VCE subjects. 49% of our students achieved an ATAR above 80. Indeed, 24% of our students achieved an ATAR above 90. And that is a ratio of nearly one in four students. These results place us within the top bracket of government schools in the state. Of equal significance to us, to us however, is that well over 90% of our students last year entered university studies with a high number of those students involved in the much sought after courses at Melbourne, Monash, Deakin and Swinburne Universities. We are delighted that our students are leaving East Doncaster Secondary College with so many opportunities available and feel so confident that they can shape their own futures. What is also evident at our college, the vast array of opportunities for students to participate in, both in and outside of the classroom. We are proud of the activities throughout the school that celebrate our cultural diversity, including our sister school relationships with the schools in Italy and China. 
Our students have the opportunity to participate in study tours of China, Italy, a NASA camp in the United States, and World Challenge expeditions to developing countries such as Vietnam, Costa Rica, and just last November, to Borneo and Malaysia. Our performing arts opportunities also hold a central position of our college life with an outstanding and highly accomplished instrumental music program and a vibrant drama and theatre studies program that stages our school productions. Our productions in particular engage our community with the superb quality of performances, costumes and arrangements. They are very much a high point of our school year. We are very proud of our new performing arts centre that showcases the many talents of our students in these pursuits. In our sporting endeavours, we continue to be one of the top schools in the Eastern region. We regularly make state finals in swimming, diving, athletics and cross country, on top of regular successes in a wide array of sporting teams. Last year, our students made us incredibly proud by having five teams win state finals in badminton, and table tennis. With the construction of our new sports centre and our sports field redevelopment, we now provide first class venues that allow our students to develop and excel in a wider range of sports. And then we add activities like debating, chess club, book club, homework club, the anime club, subject area competitions and a wide variety of camps and excursions. All of these activities add richly to the enjoyment and connection of the college experience for East Doncaster students and allow avenues for our young people to develop passionate engagement that may well lead to lifelong pursuits and expertise. An area of growth at our college of which we are also really proud is the citizenship and leadership of our students. Our student leaders have an amazing capacity. It's both instructive and uplifting to watch our young people develop on their leadership journey from the first tentative, often nervous steps to their confident knowledge as they understand and appreciate that their actions are making such a difference. Building the capacity of our students is an ongoing challenge, but vital in our quest to empower our young people to become the leaders of tomorrow. Finally, I would like to address issues relating to the enrolment process whilst transitioning from primary to secondary school and acknowledge that this process can at times be the cause of confusion and uncertainty. Each year, we as a college face the challenging decision on how many Year 7 places will be available as we continue to manage the overall size of our college. In 2021, here at East Doncaster, we would hope that we can take all Year 7 applicants and we certainly respect the investment of families as you make this informed choice. But that is clearly dependent on the total number of applications that we receive. The Education Department has in place a number of quite strict protocols for student enrolments that are essentially focused upon the rights of all families to attend their nearest neighbourhood school. In essence, if East Doncaster is your school of choice, it is essential to mark that preference in first place on the application for Year 7 placement form. I would also note that upon confirmation of our enrolment numbers for our Year 7 cohort next year, we will then commence the process to provide opportunities for students to be placed in two classes of Alpha, our program for high achievers. In conclusion, I hope that uh, I have been able to convey to you that East Doncaster Secondary College has a commitment to encouraging all of our students to have a love of learning and a culture of being curious about their learning. I firmly believe that our college is a place where challenge, choice and excellence create opportunities for every student to learn and grow. Thank you for taking such an interest in our college.